The famous liberation. Well then. Alright, let's go. Mission number three. Oof. Bit of fan service. Tanya is currently working undercover and acquiring the latest intel on the situation. If I knew anything, I would tell you! Tanya? Commander! Lieutenant Eva! Huh. Out here in the field, things get a little messy sometimes. Not so neat and tidy like they are back in the office. Can you please brief the commander on our current situation? Certainly. The Reds hold Heidelberg. I'm gonna get Sergei here to give it the location of their headquarters. The only thing I can't do is take it out for you. That, you're gonna have to do on your own. Yes, we huh? You're doing very well, Commander. Monkey ass. We're push the Soviets back to their headquarters at Germany at Heidelberg Castle. You're going to have to access the city by river. The Soviet's bases will be heavily fortified and heavily defended. When the time is right, you'll have access to the Vindicated Bombers to strike designated targets. Let's drive those Soviets all the way back to Siberia. Oh hey, I got air units! The Soviet headquarters is located here in Heidelberg. Your mission is to set up base and destroy the headquarters. Here is what we need you to do. Escort your mobile construction vehicles upriver. Intel suggests that the Soviets may not be expecting an amphibious assault. Right. You looking forward to this one, Thor? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> You're so positive. I love it. <laughs> I hope that, like, maybe there's like a little challenge in this mission. <laughs> it's mission number three, mate. Just chill. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So what do those hydrofoil do? Anti-air support ship? So hydrofoils also have a, a toggle ability which gives them a weapon jammer. Uh. So basically you can target anything with the weapon jammer and they won't be able to fire. So I usually like to have like one hydrofoil on the weapon jammer and the rest just on the AA guns. It's like that. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I just gonna assume I'm gonna still have to support you. Uh, I think so, yeah. So there are Tesla coils here. So basically, if you weapon jam each of them, easy. Hey. Oh, nice. Same. Those have some weakest dolphin attacks. Compared to Red Alert 2, where they shredded buildings like it's nothing. Yeah. Yeah, basically because the Red Alert 2 attack is actually just a wave of damage, whereas it's yeah, just. Yeah, no, and because buildings are. Looks so it. Okay. I can move my units down here. Yeah. Awesome. Ah, oh, so I can not go on land. Your naval forces will continue on to their destination, but your job is here on dry land. Build up a base and then turn your attention to the Soviet headquarters. Be on the lookout, sir. They know you're here. Bad news, Commander. The Soviets have constructed an iron curtain. This structure allows them to make their forces invincible for a short amount of time. You'll need to take it out. Oh no. Now the question, is it the Red Alert 1 garbage or the, actually the good one from Red Alert 2? The Red Alert 2. Ah, why? On the other hand, it's the AI that doesn't know how to use it anyway. Indeed. 
I'm not gonna be too worried. The Soviets appear to have built their base with the majority of their power and resources in vulnerable positions. Striking at those targets should significantly reduce their effectiveness in defending against our attacks. <laughs> Europe belongs to the Soviet Union now, and I am here to ensure it will remain that way. <laughs> Let's see... Super Rector here, here... Sorry? I'm just looking where the Super Rector's are. Uh... Ah, yeah. I'm just gonna go with the assumption I have enough defense forces so I can just go double refinery. <laughs> ah, that workshop looks nice over there. What looks nice? Sorry? The, that workshop. Oh, in the middle? Yeah. Oh, is there anything interesting on the south side? Because... I don't see a reason to go really there. There's a Soviet base and there's also a structure there that looks like it should be investigated. Little hint. <laughs> yeah. Uh... yeah. Just let's get some a bunch of air bases. If I'm yeah, there. that's like how I like to play. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've got, like, the majority of the Soviet ground forces don't seem too bad. Mm. I've got, like, a bunch of units already. New construction options. Building. Yeah, I can literally just fly over and just bomb their stuff. They have, like, nothing there. See. Yeah, no problem. I'm literally just gonna bomb their stuff into oblivion. Building insufficient funds. Let's see. Yeah, just need to take out. Let's see how good those Vindicators really are. Just bomb. They're like a much better version of the Harrier. Yeah, I'm just gonna bomb that barracks so that don't get any more flag troopers. I'll give you a little tip with the Harriers, um, as well as the same with the Apollo jets when we get them. Their special ability is called Return to Base. Um, but if you use that, like, it makes them go back a lot quicker. All is well. Enemy base Taking detected. Rain. Our ally is under attack. Unit <laughs> lost. You're a good hand, my friend. Insufficient funds. We're taking fire! We'll settle this. Uh, confirmed. Oh no, they did a little poke attack against me, how horrifying. I'm all yours. Uh. Uh, let's go with the flag troopers. Nice. 
Now you guys have no more anti-air dance there. Nice work. <laughs> yeah, the indicator seemed pretty damn good. Hmm. Hey mate, how are ya? Oh god, ah, those bombs, oh yeah, those bombs are totally homing, oh my god. Yeah. They're much, they're much better than... Oh yeah. ...Riddle at two ones. I guess I'm building a barrack so I can get some crown troops. Weapons factory in this game are actually somewhat sturdy. Which, what are, sorry? Weapons factory are actually sturdy for once in this game are not made of paper. Also, I find it a bit ridiculous that the AI has an iron curtain but doesn't even use mechanical units to attack us. <laughs> yeah, I don't even build javelins, just spam peacekeeper stones there. Bobos look like really really good, like I see no real reason to build much else, especially if the opposition is so weak on the ground. Yeah, definitely. Like yes, I had like flag trooper, but that doesn't matter if I'm literally just one shotting all the flag troopers. Are you ready to play? It is time, isn't it? 
That should clear everything. Then we get a Tanya. I'm not gonna bother using because why should I? I have Bombas. Though I could also literally just build an engine, just send them over and just capture the MCV. Good day. Let's see how much tech I get as the Soviets. Also, which strategic genius of the Soviets thought that uh, the nuclear power plant is built in front of the defenses? Yeah. Pff, yeah, it does. And I uh, don't even have a chance. <laughs> nice power plant, idiots. Oh, hey, I have money for more. Let's build more. Although unlike those Harriers, those guys actually can tank a lot of damage in my opinion. Yeah, they're quite tanky. Oh no, they actually start using tanks. Also, I got the feeling I literally don't have to build anything but uh, Allied Infantry to literally deal with the Soviet units, regardless of what they sent. Hey! Oh, hey, I got also Super Reactor need. Yeah, Tanya. Just go here, help with the defenses. Alright, I need to. Oops, no. What I'm supposed to do? You're out of there? Yeah, 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 I just try not to get Tanya immediately killed. <laughs> Just 
Yeah, yeah, I can't do anything against that. Bye bye to your iron curtain. Sorry? Yeah, I'm just gonna nuke that iron curtain. Uh. Great iron curtain, by the way, got zero uses out of it. enough bombers. <laughs> so also, Apox shouldn't be much of a worry. From them. So if you're on TV. Since you literally just deleted all of the stuff that shouldn't be too much. Nice. That was very easy. <laughs> so what's I have left? A weapons factory and the MCV. A unit is under attack. Insufficient funds. Keep in the peace. I'm going for CV anyway. If you want to go for that war factory. Um, let's see. Bit low on the number of bombers, but yeah, no, ah, nine bombers, that's more than enough. Okay, next mission though, I'm not just gonna cheese the entire map with spamming bombers. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is... I feel like that's something I can literally just do, just spam enough bombers and just overrun them, because the AI definitely has not enough anti-air to deal with that. Yep, and there it goes. Great work, Commander. That went better 
than I expected. You're a good hand, my friend. Easy. It should be a little bit harder. <laughs> <laughs> 